Oh, hey, don't scare me like that. I totally wasn't using company time to play smartphone games or anything. Joe, corporate wants to know why there's $1,500 worth of charges on the company card for a candy caper. Well, I don't know anything about that, Jess, but I do know I'm finished with my newest smartphone tutorial. Why don't we take a look? The first thing you're going to want to do is open the EVP app. After the app loads, you'll be on the live preview. From here, you're going to want to click the home button, which looks like a house in the upper left hand corner. Next, you'll see a list of menu items here. We're concerned with the video option. Go ahead and tap that. The video playback screen will be blank. To fill this information out, you're going to hit the camera icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen. From here, this will take us to the playback selection menu. The first options that we have select are the dates and times for the start and end points for our search. You can click the start time, set a date. Once you have that set, you can tap that date and click the check mark. This will let you select the time. We'll pull this back just an hour just so you can see. That's how the wheel works. Click the check and do the same thing for your end time. So you can search as far back as you have footage. Your maximum window is 24 hours. Next you're going to select a record type. If left select to all, any footage available will show up, or you can choose one of the other options such as motion, alarm, regular, or smart. We'll leave ours set to all. The last option you need to pick is the actual recorder and cameras that you're going to be setting. You should have a name for your recorder here at the bottom. You can expand that menu, and then from here, you'll have to select manually each and every camera that you want to get footage for. Once they're selected, tap the Start Playback button at the bottom, and it will take you back to the preview screen. It may take a moment for the camera footage to load in, but once it does, it should start playing automatically on its own. As you can see, we have a playback here, and you can use the seek bar to go forward and backward through any of the window of time that you've selected. That's everything you need to know about how to get to playback on the EVP app. Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and until next time, stay safe.